Hello there, I'm Ian Prosser with Botanica International Design Studio in Tampa, Florida. Today I'm here with Accent Decor, our leader in wedding and event decor products. Today I'm gonna to share with you how we design on this brand new product, the Puzzle Archway. So today we're gonna to have some fun with this puzzle archway that is new to the line. Many uses for this. Today we're gonna to use it as an entrance to a cocktail party or to the cocktail reception of a wedding. Could be used with the place cards attached to the framework here. The really nice thing about it is the color of the archway is compatible with items that you already may have in your line or other items that you may wish to purchase from us. When it comes to you, it's in seven pieces. But when you get to the job site, you only have three small four inch blocks to pop in and we're set to go. So look at the dimension that it gives us here um, with one piece sitting a few inches behind the other. What I've done today is I have attached a foam container with simply three zip ties to the back of the arch. And this is gonna allow me to do some flowers to the back side, which will give me some, a little bit more dimension here. And then we're gonna do some cascading to the bottom. So let's get started. I'm going to create the outline of my design and establish the height and the width of it. And then we'll start to add the flowers. Remember when you're inserting flowers on the bottom side, you need to make sure that it is deep into the foam so that it doesn't drop out. When you're doing something like this, make sure that you go all the way to the back of the foam so that that leaves you more space at the front for your floral insertions. All right, so let's maybe add a little bit of coculus to it just to give us a stronger line. Then we can start to travel to the front of the foam. And add a little bit of seeded eucalyptus. So this part of the design, the top part, we want to keep behind the framework of the archway. Okay, so let's add some other products. I'm going to add a couple protea just to give me some visual weight. And I'm going to go to the top side with this. So this really becomes the focal point of the arrangement. And then we'll add some nice length with the Snapdragon to the bottom. Look how this pulls the color right down the design. So now that we've established the, the length, let's establish the height. We might even decide to just come above the top like this. Yeah, yeah, I'm liking that. All right, okay, so let's add some cymbidiums now. These are really tremendous color. There we go. All right, so it's really coming together pretty well. Uh, I think I'll add some calla lilies before we, uh, we add some roses for depth. Look at that. This is such an awesome color. I'm just making a little hole in the plastic to allow the calla to go in without breaking the stem. Now look at this nice curve here that kind of complements the curve on the side here. All right, so that may be enough callus for the moment. 
we'll just put some off to the side and maybe we'll add some a little bit later. But I would like to add a little bit of this toffee rose in here. It's wonderful with the finish of the metal. And at the same time, it's allowing me to cover my mechanics. I think you want to keep this design fairly uncluttered because of the simplicity of the uh, archway itself. Now, we'll just allow a couple of them just to project forward just a little bit more, just to accent the dimension here. All right. Okay, then some of these Gerberas would be really fun. And then we'll add just a few underneath here just to pull that color down through the center. Okay, so we've got a little touch of this wonderful clematis which is just gonna give us a little bit of a softer line. Um, but also give you some delicate dimension here. Um, this is a little bit more of an unusual flower, so you want to make sure that it comes to the forefront as well. Oh, just that little bit of purple there is doing a lot for it. I've got some of this jasmine, which is beautiful. And that will just give us a little touch of that color coming down here. Look at how good this looks. Again, helping with dimension and depth. We'll just add one rose a little bit taller here just to pull the color up. But look at how fun this is. It's, you know, it's cascading into this void here, which is kind of fun. But when we've incorporated flowers into the top, it then helps to accent this, um, the top of the puzzle stand right here, which makes it a lot of fun. So, okay, so we finished up. We filled in the void here between the, these two decorative panels. I think it looks pretty dynamic. We're gonna get cleaned up and show you the finished look. So here we have the finished product. This is our completed look, a spectacular entrance into any cocktail party. We have layered in some other items from the new collection. To find these items, please shop accentdecor.com. Thank you for joining us today, and we'll see you soon.